hi there and uh, welcome to this video in this video we're going to be talking about uh, posting date ranges uh, within business central um, so this is to do with um, some functionality which can limit uh, the dates on which transactions can be posted within the business central environment okay so um it's uh, specifically to do with uh, financial transactions. So it is possible in BC to post transactions that do not have uh, financial implications. Um, but the functionality that we're going to discuss today focuses on those types of transactions where there is going to be uh, a financial implication, i.e. Um, the general ledger is going to be impacted in some way. Uh, general ledger entries are going to be created um, and this is going to focus on uh, on those sorts of transactions. So um, let's just get into it. Um, so I'm going to come into my search function here and I'm going to search for a page here called General Ledger Setup. Um, and on the General Ledger Setup, uh, we've got two fields here that we're going to focus on, uh, which are Allow Posting From and Allow Posting To. Okay, so we do have some other fields here, allow deferral, posting from and to, but we're not going to focus on those in this video. We do have a, another video for those, um, but we're just going to talk about allow posting from and to here on our general ledger setup page. Now, very simply, what these fields do is they allow us to set a posting date range so I can go allow posting on this system from the 1st of September 24 to the end of September 24 okay now um, what I should say is these fields are company specific so if you work in multiple companies in your business central environment um, the change that I've just made on the general ledger setup is within the company that I'm working in only okay so uh, just be weary of that you might need to change it in multiple places Perhaps master data management um, is uh, is something that you might be able to use here to update that across multiple companies if uh, if that's possible there. Um, but essentially what this is going to do is it's going to stop me posting any transactions which fall outside this particular date range. OK, so it's going to fall outside the 1st of September and the 30th of September. Now, um, this does apply, as I mentioned at the top of the video, um, to any transaction which will have financial implications, okay? Um, but I'm not gonna run you through sort of all different types of transactions here um, because that will take forever. Um, but what I'm just gonna do is raise a new sales invoice and on that sales invoice uh, we'll demonstrate this in principle, okay? But it's the same where you're posting any transaction that's gonna have a financial implication. So this is a sales invoice. Obviously when I post this, it will affect my general ledger. You know, if you're doing a purchase invoice, if you were doing a general journal, it would be the same principle, okay? Um, so let me add my customer. 10,000. I'm going to add a line for our Athens desk. Quantity is one and that invoice is now ready to go. Okay, so here just take note the posting date is the important field um, and the posting date here is set to the 8th of April 24. So it's a demonstration system. Um, that's why the date is a little bit in the past there. Um, but April the 8th 2024 is when this invoice is um, going to be posted um, according to our system and that is um, therefore the date which this transaction will hit our general ledger. Appreciate this is probably uh, something that will never happen. I guess you'll never need to post uh, a sales invoice back this far, um, but you get the idea, guys. This posting date is the 8th of April, whereas if I go back to our general ledger setup to the fields that we, uh, we set up earlier, we've got allow posting from the 1st of September, allow posting to the 30th of September, okay? So what that means is if I go back to my sales invoice and I'm just gonna do a preview posting here, what this will do is it will give me a message here, posting date is not within your range of allowed posting dates, okay? So what it's telling me there is that the posting date of my invoice is the 8th of April, and the posting dates that are allowed within the system 
if I go back to our general ledger setup, are between the 1st of September and the 30th of September. OK, so that's why I see that message. Now, what I can do is I can just go ahead and change this uh, invoice posting date to 3009. OK, so I just get a, a bit of a message here telling me it's changed um, some of the areas on the uh, on the invoice. Um, but you can see now the posting date is set to 3009.24, which does fall within range of our posting date ranges. So I won't go to the general ledger setup page again. But if you remember, the allow posting to and from was set to the start and end of September. OK, so now if I go ahead and say preview posting. What we see is that the posting preview screen is shown, which means that the invoice will post and my GL entries and other sub ledger entries are created. OK, and if I go into just my GL entries here, notice the posting date there is the 30th of the 9th, 2024. OK, so um, it's going to be the posting date, which is the date on which transactions hit your general ledger. And as you saw there, when I tried to post um, this invoice outside the date range, which was defined in my general ledger setup, it gave me an error and said you can't post it. OK, so that is how that works. And I guess you would roll up the um, general ledger setup um, dates as and when you require. OK, so I guess every business works a little bit differently. Uh, depending on your operations, you can determine what the allow posting from and to dates are and you can determine when those dates are changed. OK, so that's the general ledger setup, but there is one other area which can affect this functionality, um, and that is the user setup screen. OK, so if I go to my user setup screen, what I have here is a list of all users on the system. So it's just myself. It's just the admin user on this screen at the moment. But you'll notice I've got an allow posting from and an allow posting to fields here. OK, so I can set the value in here as well. Right. So I can go the 1st of the 9th, 2024 to the 30th of the 9th, 2024. Now, what will basically happen when I post a transaction is that BC will check who am I logged in as, what user am I? So I'm the admin user. And does the admin user have allow posting from and two dates defined in the user setup page if they do? it will use these dates. If they don't, then it will use the general ledger setup posting dates. OK, so if it looks like this, where I have no dates in here, then when posting a transaction, BC will use the general ledger setup posting dates that we have here in these two fields. So let's just go ahead and put some dates in here. So let me go into uh, from the 1st of the 9th, 2024. And what I'm going to do here is set the allow posting to to the end of October 2024. OK, so according to the user setup now, myself, who's the admin user, I can post from 1st of the 9th, 2024 through to the 31st of the 10th, 2024. And I guess in, uh, in in the real world, you wouldn't normally do this, guys, um, but it's just to show you this functionality in action. OK, so let me go back to my sales invoice now. I'll just wait for that to catch up. Um, so now I'm back on my sales invoice. And what I'm going to do is just to show you that this does work. I'm going to change the posting date. Let me just accept the warning. Uh, I'm going to change the posting date to the end of October 2024 here. OK, um, and remember on the general ledger setup just before we post, I'll show you the date setup that we have. So on the general ledger setup, we've got allow posting from the 1st of September to the 30th of September. And on my user setup record, we've got allow posting from the 1st of September to the 31st of October 2024. OK, so 
let me go in and say preview posting on my sales invoice and you'll see that the posting preview comes up which means that the invoice is going to post again the gl entries here if i drill into those you see they're the 30th of the 10th okay so it allowed me to post that guys because i'm logged in as the admin user and on the user setup screen my posting date ranges are between the 1st of september and the 31st of october okay so in the same way here if i go in and try to change this to the 30th of November. And I just want to show you that this will also stop me. So if I go preview posting again, now look, I get that message that says your posting date is not within your range of allowed posting dates. Now, why is that? Well, it's because my posting date is the 30th of November. And if I go to my user setup, I mean, you've probably guessed what I'm going to say on my user setup. I can post from the 1st of September to the 31st of October. Okay, so you get the idea there, guys. Um, basically, when we post a transaction, BC will check the user setup screen. Do I have against the user who is posting an allow posting from and an allow posting to date range? If they do, then these are the dates that will be used. If the user doesn't have allow posting from and to defined in the user setup screen like they are now blank. When we post a transaction, the system will go back to our general ledger setup and it will check the allow posting from and to dates here. Now, both the general ledger setup and the user setup screens are company specific. So if you're, um, if you're, if you're maintaining these fields, they will need to be done. They'll need to be set up and maintained per company that you transact in, right? So um, just have a think about how you might want to set that up. I guess um, the, the sort of normal rule that I follow is unless the user has uh, or needs some sort of exceptional posting date ranges, leave the user setup blank and let them follow the general ledger setup. Um, but I guess it could work differently depending on um, the way that you work as a business. Okay, so that is everything that I wanted to show you in this video. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.